Justification versus Acknowledgement. And this is part one. I'm going to read in Mark chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Jesus then began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. <clears throat> Excuse me, verses four to five go on to say that he sent many others who were either beaten or killed. None of them were sent with fruit from the vineyard. Then I'm going to read in verses six to eight. It says, he had one left to send, a son whom he loved. He sent him last of all, saying, they will respect my son. But the tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. <clears throat> the tenants felt justified in killing the owner's son. Their justification was for their own personal gain. The definition of justification is the action of showing something to be right or reasonable. And there was a time in my life where I used to speak to people however I wanted to speak to them. Um, and I felt justified in doing so because my focus was on, well, I'm telling the truth. And even though God tells us to tell the truth, he also tells us to speak the truth in love. And that was not what I did. I was not justified <clears throat> and I was actually fooling myself when I thought that I was. I was also not interested in hearing from others that what I was doing was wrong and not pleasing in God's sight. Don't be like me. Don't be deceived. Don't believe a lie and accept it as the truth. When I did this, it was only the truth in my eyes and this made me a double-minded person. My encouraging scripture is going to be in James chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, um, but I would like for people to play, pay close attention to verse 8. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Here's verse 8. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. 